Welcome back, one and all, to Let's Play Metroid. Take two, because, you know, the first time I tried to record this episode, the game audio didn't capture. Thanks, OBS. Rogue nervously looks at his OBS window to make sure that, you know, it's picking up the game audio this time. Come on. Really? No power pellets? Power pellets? What is this, Pac-Man? Anyway, this episode we're going to pick up one of my favorite power-ups. In the entire series, really. And the first step to that is returning here, where we picked up the high jump boots. Going through this secret passage in the wall. Hitting a ripper. Oh no! Okay. I can do this. The key here is I've got to use the, zoo, the the enemies here to create little step ladders. That's too far up. That'll work. Then we have to do some precision platforming. was rough. Then I have to not die. Easier said than done. Nope, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Shoot. Well, that's okay. You could bounce off screen. Ow. Get up, Samus. Okay. Now we want to go up here. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rogue. What do you mean, go up here? Through the secret tunnel. The secret passage. Really? And then we go left. And we dodge all the killer fire spitter thingy drop up bobs. And we waste a missile. But we come in here and we get the screw attack. <laughs> Why is Rogue laughing so maniacally? Well, you see that little... thing that's going on there? No! You know, no, I'm not, I'm not restarting. I'm not restarting. I got the screw attack. I will take, I will take the L. I will take the L. Because you know what? We have to come back here anyway. <laughs> Because we're off to get the other power-up that I desperately need the most. Probably one that people have been screaming, Rogue, you should have gone to get this already! Because you're terrible! And, you know, you're not wrong. Yes, come back here, Zoomer. Missiles, really? Anyway, that little sound effect you're hearing. That is the screw attack. And when Samus is making that noise, Samus is invincible. Or at least to enemies. Come 
Come on. Come on, Rogue. You can do this. <laughs> Now I can hear myself think. Hey! That... that wasn't fair. Anyway, the screw attack lets us make mincemeat out of a lot of the enemies. Yes, please, make the beeping stop. Okay, we need to go all the way up to near the top of this shaft. And I think I might have screwed that up because I froze that ripper. Trying to collect as many power-ups as I can along the way, because, well, it would really be unfortunate if I had to restart in Brinstar at the... Oh, the purple, the purple ones you can kill. Cool. Things that Rogue had forgotten about this game. That. Hey, that ain't right. Get back here. Yes, I want that energy ball. Alright, do not kill the zoomers when they're over this little... blocky... the, the little bombable blocks or the shootable blocks. Because you'll just drop into the pipe below you. Okay. No, no, no. Shoot. There. Take that. Nope, 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 nope. Somewhere in here... There's a block. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I hate this kind of timing nonsense. Oh, right, and those blocks don't actually exist. So you've got to get your jump just right. But then you can get in here. And you can use the screw attack very liberally. To destroy enemies. Excuse me. Flying thingy. Flying thingies, excuse me. Serves. Rogue, quit wasting your time. Boom! And here we get... The Varia Suit. 
That'll let us take less damage. And you know how I, how I am with hits, viewers. Okay. So that's it. That's that's all we needed to come back to Brinstar for. Ow. I looked at my energy meter and I started to panic for a second there because I didn't realize that I had completely filled up my energy tank. Pick up the missile, Samus. There we go. Alright, so now we want to go back to where we were. And we're going to exit through the right-hand side. Because over here, we can get some more nifty power-ups. Including this missile container. And an energy tank. But the energy tank is through this wall. I'm sorry. I know there's a way through here. There we go. So you just gotta get the bomb right. <laughs> Give me an IE tank. <laughs> Game's cheating. Alright. Now we go through here. And we'll go through this door and we're in the vertical hallway where we got the long beam. Yeah, right in there. We don't need to go through any of this, though. We're headed down here. I said... We're headed down here. Samus. That was all you, Samus. I gave you the right input. You totally bailed on me there. Samus. Come on, Samus. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. I 
I miss Space Jump. Anyway, in case you're wondering, we're headed back to Norfair! Because now it's time for us to go hunt down some mini-bosses. Because, of course, it's not just as easy as come in, get the power-ups, go to Torian, kill Mother Brain. No, 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 no. We have to defeat the pirate leaders. You remember the pirate leaders. You know, Ridley and Craig. The ice beam makes the screes a little less dangerous. And the screw attack, well, you see what the screw attack does to them. Nope. But as always, just keep moving. You get the most benefit by avoiding enemies as opposed to fighting them. Which is something that, you know, a young rogue really didn't understand. So, we're back to Norfair. Shall we get a silly amount of missiles before we go take on a mini boss? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take get a silly amount of missiles and then take on the mini bosses. <laughs> so, join me next time on Let's Play Metroid. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.